Hi and welcome to this new video which we will uh, show you how to run the uh, diagnostic test in, uh, in Stata. So for uh, linear regression specifically as you know the uh, econometrics model are generally uh, based on some hypothesis that uh, residual term uh, are normally distributed, are uh, homoscedastic and the those zero term are non auto correlated. So to uh, validate an econometric model, you need to uh, check all those three hypotheses that are hidden behind uh, uh, econometric model in general and uh, linear uh, model in particular. So in this video, we we'll show you uh, first of all how to run normality tests. And then we will uh, demonstrate and illustrate to, uh, to you how to uh, run a heteroscedasticity test. And finally, we will show you how to run and interpret uh, non autocorrelation -auto test. And uh, it's the first time you are watching one of my videos. Do not hesitate to subscribe to the YouTube channel and activate the notification bell in order not to lose the next uh, video. And do not uh, hesitate to, to uh, let me a thumbs up. It will be a pleasure to know that all the we are making is uh, helping you improve your less your skills in statistical model for social sciences. So let us start with uh, uh, diagnostic of uh, normality test. The first step is to run the uh, linear normality test in this data is to uh, to estimate the model. So we use the common uh, rest in order to run a regression in which we have uh, as dependent variable GGP and independent variable that we have in our database is a gross fixed capital formation. We have a general government final consumption. We have gross fixed capital uh, formation. So we will have add also a variable for uh, general government investment. We have three independent variables in our model. So we click on OK and we see that the result of our regression in our variable. Also uh, put a variable in our regression that are across several formation and general government consumption. Uh, the second step now, more than a skewness test is to uh, predict a uh, result. So, uh, to do so, we need to uh, run the prediction of a uh, visual by uh, using the command predict and uh, predict followed by uh, the space. And then you are going to give your residual. So, I will call uh, my variable the then comma and then uh, type uh, receipt in order to tell Stella that uh, we are going to predict the, the residual of the last uh, estimated equation. So then click on OK and our variable residual has been generated. So to run the uh, linear regression uh, uh, test in this data is just to uh, type the command uh, SK test, we stand for skewness test, SK test, uh, followed by the name of the variable that we are going to test. The test the variable is receive before. And click on OK. You can see that the result of our residual tests are now available in our stata, and you can uh, see that the p value of our skewness kairosis test for normality is 0 0.2736 which is more than 5% meaning that uh, our uh, residual are normally distributed. So coming back into our uh, heteroscedasticity test which uh, in other terms mean uh, just uh, the constant of variance of the error terms 
So to run the uh, it looks like that it is it's possible to run your uh, linear uh, model. So in this uh, tutorial, we do take an example in uh, macroeconomic and we will analyze the impact of the uh, government spending on the uh, production. So we run the common uh, rec. We run rec rec for uh, regression. Uh, we will put uh, our dependent variable, which is here the GDP uh, materializing production, and uh, followed by the independent variable that we have in our database. We have cross fixed capital formation, we have uh, general government final consumption, we have, uh, uh, we have general government investment. So we will keep these three variables or uh, three independent variables. Model and then click on OK. You can see that the result of our linear regression model are now available. So we can analyze uh, the result by looking at R square or uh, significance of different coefficients. But the aim of this tutorial is just to analyze the heteroscedasticity of, uh, of the model. So to run the heteroscedasticity of the linear regression model in Stata, you just need to type the Test, head for heteroscedasticity and test. So uh, while you have typed this uh, command, after uh, uh, running your regression analysis, then uh, and then click on OK, you will see the result of your heteroscedasticity test, which of uh, Brecht and Dagan. So we have uh, the null hypothesis, which is uh, which is constant variance of uh, you know, terms, uh, which mean uh, almost scalarity. So we accept the null hypothesis because the p value of our test is more than 5%. 5% is a threshold that is usually used in social sciences in order to uh, analyze and to make a hypothesis test. So uh, as our p value is more than 5%, we just accept the null hypothesis, which is that uh, our error term, our, our error term are most classic, or uh, the variance of our error term is constant. So uh, it's a good uh, information because alongside uh, the almost scalarity test, uh, which is uh, one of the hypotheses, you should uh, check at the normality and non correlation of test using Stata is quite simple. We have for the purpose of uh, this uh, tutorial a database containing information in uh, on macroeconomic problems such as GDP, uh, cross fixed capital formation, general government general spending. We have uh, GDP growth and as well as general government investment. I will run a regression and show you how to use a, uh, a linear regression result in order to run the uh, normal correlation test in the residual test. So uh, we will start uh, first of all uh, with uh, estimation of our uh, linear regression. So we will run a rec command reg, uh, followed by uh, our dependent variable, which will be uh, a GDP in current local currency. And as independent variable, we have uh, cross fixed capital formation, general government investment. We'll have uh, general uh, government investment, percentage of GDP, all those variables. So in the depth, click on OK. And we have the result of our uh, linear regression. Uh, but the interpretation in this case is not our purpose. So we'll uh, try, first of all, to, uh, to predict our residual terms. So uh, to uh, generate our residual term, just use the command predict and give a 
a name to our residual, we will call them uh, residual terms, and then comma and R. We say to stare that uh, the uh, variable that we are going to predict is uh, the residual, and as we have uh, just run the uh, linear regression. The residual that will be predict will be the residual of our linear model. Then click on OK, and you can see that a new variable has been generated called uh, residual terms. That is the residual terms of our uh, just run uh, uh, model on uh, the GDP and the impact of uh, some variable at gross federal formation, general government investment, and general government uh, final consumption on the GDP. So uh, as we have predict our uh, uh, residual terms, uh, we need to set uh, our time data because uh, the correlation have sense in time series data. Well, we have time series data, so we will set our time series uh, variable by using the command uh, tset uh, followed by the name of our uh, time series variable, which is here. Here, then we click on OK, and our time variable is set from year 1982 to uh, 2018, which is uh, the horizon of. Uh, of our data, data. so uh, the last step is to run a model uh, with our residual terms. So we will uh, regress uh, using our command reg. Our dependent variable in the regression will be uh, residual terms, and uh, independent variable will be a uh, lack value of uh, residual terms. So we we'll use l dot. Uh, residual term for lab one residual term uh, after that we'll use lab two l dot uh, l two dot uh, residual and finally we will include our third lab our lab three uh, residual in our model and we will estimate the model. And in our model, the most important thing to uh, look at is the uh, probability of fissure. The probability of fissure give the uh, global significance of our model. We give uh, the global significance of lab uh, value of uh, of our error term. So in uh, autocorrelation, uh, in the test of autocorrelation, n is to test. Uh, if whether or not a uh, lack value of GDP significantly influence the current uh, value. So as we can see, our probability is uh, 0 0.000. That uh, lead to the uh, rejection of null hypothesis, uh, which is uh, that our uh, coefficient are, uh, are null. So uh, the uh, Interpretation is that our uh, error term are uh, correlated and is not good for our uh, linear regression because in a uh, estimation of uh, linear regression by least square, uh, uh, is one of the hypotheses is that the error term must be non autocorrelated and uh, the hypothesis is violated in our case in the future video we will show you how to uh, correct uh, uh, this autocorrelation using for example the generalized uh, least square or uh, variable transformation in order to correct a non autocorrelation term so that's it for this uh, new video and if you have not yet done do subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as activating the notification bell in order not to lose my next publication. As do not hesitate to uh, let me thumbs up. It will be a pleasure to know that all efforts we are making are increasingly uh, improved to our level in statistical model for social sciences. So uh, anytime soon for another video.